For this year's Gingerbread House, we did the Washington National Cathedral. I mean, it's such a beautiful building. It's iconic. It's probably the most beautiful building in D.C. What better way to represent it than gingerbread? It took probably around 30 hours, um, give or take. I start with a base dough. It's called a honey dough, uh, which is right around 30, 40 pounds. All it is is honey and, and flour, and that's the first dough. And then I, I start a second dough and mix it all together. And then there's, there's, there's other things in that. That's where the spices come in. Um, some water, some simple syrup. Uh, ends up being all in all for the batch that I created right around, I think, 70, 80 pounds, maybe a little bit more. All the snow that you see is all just uh, powdered sugar and egg whites. So, and then I glued it together also with, the, with the, same, the same thing, powdered sugar and egg whites, but I put a little coffee extract in there to color it. All said and done, I think powdered sugar, around 20 pounds, I think, yeah. Trees are actually made of ice cream cones with just royal, just that same royal icing. Um, depending on how many egg whites you add, it's, it can be stiffer or looser. So we want to go obviously looser on the roof and this is going to be a little more stiff to make the leaves pop. I know perfection is really almost never achieved, but we try to do it as pastry chefs best we can. Um, and what better building, and, and having the Nats one this year, and you guys flashed a little Nats symbol on the building, I thought that was really cool. Um, so that was an extra little bonus for me. And sweets is, and, and the holidays go hand in hand, it's our time of the year to shine. It's definitely when it's over, it's, uh, it's a big sigh of relief, and, uh, and a very long nap. Um, but uh, I mean, that's what we're here for, it's our jobs and, and we love it, we wouldn't do it if we didn't love it.